evening what's going on there folks uh, it is earthmaster here on this uh, beautiful wednesday evening august 11th 2021 to date uh, about 8 30 p.m west coast time and the uh, latest quake is going to be a five point well never mind <laughs> it was a 5.2 over here around the philippines area now a 3.0 up around the area where the 8.2 struck um, a week or so ago in the aleutian islands area the Aleutian Trench. Seen quite a bit of movement uh, over the last uh, few hours or so since that uh, pretty large 7.2 downgraded to a 7.1 earthquake there in the Philippines area. We'll go ahead and check out uh, some info on what's going on around the globe. See quite a bit of earthquake activity ramping up over here on the southwestern edge of the Pacific Ring of Fire that includes the Tonga region. Looking at the Philippines area down into the Philippine Trench area, we've seen about three, at least according to the USGS here, three aftershocks. The largest so far was that uh, mentioned 5.2 and still seeing some uh, deeper activity here. Uh, a little bit further upstream uh, from the 7.1 that struck earlier today. That was a pretty good shaker out there. Seen quite a few reports uh, about uh, the earthquake and the movement that was felt out there. Uh, here is the tectonic summary from the USGS, uh, the August 11, 2021. I'm not going to read all this. Um, off the coast of uh, uh, Mindanao, Philippines, occurred as a result of oblique reverse and strike slip faulting at moderate depth in the earth. Preliminary estimates of the depth and the mechanism of the earthquake are consistent with the earthquake having occurred in the continental lithosphere above the uh, 90 kilometer deep subducted Philippine sea plate. Focal mechanism solutions indicate that rupture occurred on either a west-southwest or east-southeast dipping reverse fault with a component of either right lateral strike slip uh, motion to the northeast or left lateral strike slip motion to the uh, southeast at the location of the earthquake. Uh, the Philippine Sea Plate moves west-northwest at a velocity of about uh, 100 mm per year with respect to the Sunda Plate. Uh, let's see, uh, more many subduction zone plate boundaries. The Philippines frequently experiences moderate to large earthquakes, no doubt. So a little bit of a summary on that earthquake looking at, I mean, yeah, check that. check out the historical activity since uh since well since about 1900 or so that just includes these dates doesn't include the past five years six years so quite a bit of movement down into the subduction zone of the area that uh, where this earthquake struck i wanted to see Kind of interesting there, a little, even though this is a subduction zone here, kind of looks like it may have been, uh, well, they, they mentioned that. I'm not going to go back over that again, but it doesn't look fully like a subducted earthquake. As uh, far as like a, in this case, it would be like from west to east for a, a full subduction quake. But um, kind of why, I'm, I, I'm guessing it didn't produce a significant tsunami. No doubt it did stir up... Uh, the uh, tsunami chat for a little bit. Let's see if I can even get them to, to key up here. Not for sure what's going on. This is the, uh, this was earlier when I was looking at it. Kind of odd. Anyway, um, wow, I don't, I don't know what's going on there. There we go. Alrighty, there we go. Just kind of, kind of odd. So there was a threat uh, when this earthquake kicked off there in the uh, Philippines and the Indonesia area. Um, as far as I know, there was just a very, very small, small tsunami. These are the measurements here. Uh, wave observations from coastal or deep ocean sea level gauges. Uh, you can see very, very small. Um, so that's a good thing. That's definitely a good thing. Could have been uh, much worse had that... Uh, uh, earthquake uh, triggered a little bit differently into that subduction zone, but it is what it is. Kind of similar to uh, 
the 8.2 that struck up here that thing really really uh, uh, could have been a uh, pretty devastating uh, tsunami had it uh, struck a different um, slipped in a different area or different motion I should say direction so looking at uh, this area where the 8.2 struck there's a few few earthquakes uh, a few aftershocks I should say in this area zooming in here to this area specifically you can see a couple fours and threes kicking off uh, somewhat kind of deep into the subduction zone 27 kilometers 31 kilometers uh, for some of those quakes still pretty quiet up here into the Japan area this little movement or this little area here is still pretty quiet seen some uh, uh, pretty shallow quake this is kind of odd for well it is kind of up here towards the uh, trench upper portion of it not down dip downstream uh, about 10 kilometers or so for uh, uh, those uh, fours and five earthquakes there in that region southern california well let's check out up here what's going on up here in the canada region at a 4.0 uh, striking out here Uh, let's move into the United States area. Looks like a little bit of movement taking place just off of the San Andreas Fault, north of the Bay Area. Uh, yeah, it's about, looks like about three miles or so just off the San Andreas Fault towards the east. A little 2.4 near, uh, is that Tamales? No, that's Tomales. I was like, Tamales? Tamales, California. Uh, five kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, of course, a cluster of quakes up here in the geyser area. Not a whole lot of movement up here towards the north part of the state. A little bit of movement around the San Jose area on the Calaveras Fault system there. Just a couple small microquakes. Uh, also down here in the south part of the state, San Jacinto Fault area, working its way north towards the Rancho Cucamonga area. See a little bit of microquakes up down there as well. Um, not a whole lot of movement really to speak of here in Southern Cal. Just uh, some microquakes scattered out and about. A little bit of swarming, well, not really swarming, a little earthquake activity uh, near the Beatty, 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 Nevada area. A couple small microquakes. Let's see some movement up here around the uh, Salt Lake City area and throughout Utah, kind of in this fashion right here. Sometimes when we get quite a bit of movement into the Intermountain West region, it almost forms like a a giant circle if you will or an oval type pattern kind of neat to see all that uh, activity kick up there uh, let's see what do we got here just a couple of small microquakes nothing really going on at Yellowstone National Park either folks uh, somebody asked me uh, a question about some of the readings on Yellowstone National Park and what they meant um, you know kind of asking if uh, activity like this over here at Maple Creek uh, is uh, let me see if I can find maybe that one that they were referring to Holmes Hill I believe it was this one here uh, kind of seen this signature wondering if this was some type of trimmer but this was actually the the earthquake 7.2 7.1 in the Philippines uh, that was triggered here and it shows up uh, as some P waves and some S waves kind of gives those wavy fashions or wavy uh, sig signature there in the uh, seismograph. So that's exactly what that is. That's the uh, movement of that 7.1 being picked up on the Yellowstone seismograph stations. And it's not on all of them, just ones that are uh, uh, pretty uh, uh, pretty sensitive, so to speak. There it is again, a little bit more detailed on this uh, station. I don't see any swarmings, uh, no thunderstorms up there that I know of throughout the day today. Um, but yeah, kind of kind of quiet right now. Don't want to jinx it. A little bit of activity towards the Maple Creek area. See some uh, individualized microquakes. Uh, looks like most of it prior to the uh, to the uh, seven point one that struck. I don't see any earthquakes taking place after that. Uh, most of it was definitely hours before, but on a very very small scale. Trimmer, what's going on in the Pacific Northwest, the Cascadia subduction zone? A little bit of movement today. Kind of curious to see what this would look like tomorrow um, after the uh, 7.1 today. But eh, a little bit of movement in the Northern California, the, uh, the northern end of the Sacramento 
a valley up uh, south of Redding, California. Of course, this is uh, not in the valley, but uh, underneath the valley, uh, about down dip downstream here, about 35 kilometers or so underneath the surface, uh, creating some of those vibrational uh, detections there with the M energy uh, potential over here uh, from about 11 epicenters today. Uh, let's see here, Pacific Northwest, a little bit of movement uh, southwest of Portland and Mount Hood. Seen a couple small microquakes south of the summit area. And uh, a little bit of movement up around the Seattle area. But uh, overall, folks, just uh, kind of a typical, typical, typical day here along the North American continent. We'll uh, see what's in store as we move forward. A little bit of activity away from the Puerto Rico area. Seen a 4.2 near the uh, Virgin Islands out here. Pretty deep, 159 kilometers for that 4.2. Also a little bit of a deeper movement up here towards the Puerto Rico Trench. It's kind of an area to watch for some significant movement in the future. 3.3 at 37 kilometers uh, below the surface. So, All right, guys, have a good night. Uh, stay safe out there. Going to jump off here and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. Hope everyone does the same, and uh, we'll chat you guys a little bit later. Stay safe out there.